What's up, everybody? Welcome to the capital of Maine. This is Augusta. This town is a complete dump. Um, its population hasn't grown since the year 1940. You see people are doing donuts in the parking lot here. This place just has some trashy vibes. We went down the road to Waterville to get Applebee's. Turns out their wait was very long, so we ended up... Excuse me. Um... We ended up just driving here to Augusta because the water bill, the Waterville Apple, whatever the crap, Applebee's had a long way. So what makes this town a crappy place? For one, the population hasn't grown since 1940. Yes, since 1940, the population has been stagnant. Now, you would think that man known for beautiful natural settings, their food, there's no reason for their capital city to be in decline or stagnant for 80 years but unfortunately that's where they're at <coughs> at this Applebee's um, when our waitress came up was she crying when she came up to, to, to take our order oh, or, she came up to our table and told us I'm having a really bad day I was like okay that's not my, that's not my problem took our order uh, took forever to get our food as usual um, so the other town over their Applebee's had a line you had a wait just to get in there were tables available but they wouldn't give you one they made you wait outside so i don't know why it's hard to clear off a table or to really give you a table that's cleared off but apparently in maine that's too much work to do <coughs> you can see there's businesses that have fallen i mean that's was like an old papa john's that failed an old piece of hut and there's a couch in front of it what the crap is that bro literally i've seen three businesses that have failed just driving through here you can see their capital building over here, and we will look at that in a minute. I want to show you this, because this is the weirdest thing. Homeless people by the interstate, of course. Um, <coughs> I'm not done with this rent yet. Okay. Just getting started here. <coughs> I feel like I'm going to throw up. That food was disgusting. They gave you the wrong meal, didn't they? They brought, yep. they brought Katie the wrong meal, and she ate it simply because it took so long for them to make it to begin with that why we're gonna wait another hour for them to make it right but basically she said oh i gave you the wrong meal and she brought us the wrong meal and just expected katie to eat the wrong meal so as you can see there's a business that shut down maybe it was a restaurant maybe it looks like a papa john's but for some freaking reason there's a couch <laughs> there's a couch yeah. in front of it and that right there is trashy galore there's that piece of hut to shut down. Yeah. And there's a couch in front of it for some reason. Uh, the lights inside are on, so maybe it hasn't been closed for too long. You can see there's also a couch back here behind it. Two Just couches. trashy. Yeah, it's nasty. And well, anyways, so she comes up crying. She gives us an attitude while taking the order. She brings Katie the wrong food and just expects her to eat it because, well, it's what we brought you, right? We, as she brought it out, she told us it was the wrong food. Mm -hmm. As if saying, hey, yeah, I'm going to bring it out anyway, so you might as well eat it. Head southeast on Western so on top of that, Street. when we're checking out, it took a very long time to turn it off. We're going to explore a little bit. So on top of all that, when we go to leave, I had to move for I said, hey, lady, I need the bill. We got to go. We've been here for an hour and a half, you know. This is taking too long. I need my bill. She brings it in here. She's like, here it is. You work for tips. If you treat your customer bad, you're not gonna get any tips, you know? Look how they do burnouts in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Or it's just, maybe it's just all cracked. What was it, an old Kmart or something? Yeah, old yeah. BK, big K. Yeah, nobody's but put something else in. Anyways, this girl's attitude was like unbelievable. Like, how, that, that, this is, and I'll tell you what's wrong with this place. I'll tell you right now what's wrong with this town. The state of Maine, their lights are on, even though it's closed. Isn't yeah. that odd? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Same with the other business. I'll tell you what the problem is with this state right now. It's got the same problem that Alabama has. It's got the same problem that West Virginia has. The problem is, ready for it? Less than 3% of the population is foreign born. That's their problem. If they had immigrants here, they wouldn't have these problems. Their population will be growing. Their businesses will be thriving. 
we just came back from Canada. We just saw Toronto, um, Quebec, Montreal. Dude, it's an embarrassment. Like, like after seeing Canada, after seeing Canada, it is an embarrassment to come back into the United States and see this. It's an embarrassment. <coughs> after coming back from Canada and seeing how prosperous their cities are, how their communities are thriving, it's an embarrassment to come back to the United States and see this. The service, everywhere we went in Canada, how was it, Katie? I was treated very well, better than I usually am in the US. Dude, the service was incredible in Canada. Everywhere we went, people were friendly, they were kind, um, and it doesn't matter what, it's not about race. Everybody was kind, everybody was friendly, everybody was generous, helpful. Everybody was just amazing. Then you come back in the United States and you deal with this crap. <coughs> and then like at the last rest, at the first Applebee's we went to, Applebee's we went to about 20 miles north of here. At that Applebee's, um, there was a guy sitting outside and with his kids and he's like, man, this sucks. You have to wait a long time. Like you could tell the guy was visibly upset that he had to wait outside. But the plague of West Virginia, Alabama, and Maine is not having immigrant communities. 3% foreign born. That's the plague. Man, we just came back from Toronto, bro. That's a city. And then the United States crime rate is like twice higher than in Canada. At least twice higher. The crime right here in this city is a, a, a little bit above the state average. Now, Maine is one of the safest states in the country. But let me tell you, it may be safe on a murder level. You know, like they don't have a lot of murder rates. But there's a lot of homelessness and just trashy looking people. Mm -hmm. Which is weird because it's part of the Northeast. And the Northeast are usually kind of more advanced places, yeah. you know, more prosperous places. But this is a dump. And this Someone is a got capo. sick in the bathroom while I was in there. Oh, really? Yep. I, I'm about to throw up. Yeah, it's just a nasty... Uh, it really has a nasty vibe. Mm -hmm. It just has a trashy, trashy vibe. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a miracle if I don't throw up by the end of this video. Mm -hmm. The food was nasty too. It tasted like they dropped chemicals in the mashed potatoes. You saw me, I didn't eat my mashed potatoes. And I usually eat them. I tasted the mashed potatoes and it tasted like maybe when they were cleaning the kitchen or something. Mm -hmm. Like they dropped the chemicals. That's why when you saw me immediately like spit it out and not eat the mashed potatoes. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Well, uh, where's their downtown? Wait, where are we? Let me see the map over here. Where's their town at? I think that's it. It's kind of small. I think How that... is this a capital city? That's a capital building. <laughs> and most of the small towns that we saw in Maine were actually pretty cute and... I'll be honest, like, it's a beautiful state. Like, the small towns and stuff are beautiful. Their capital is a small town. Yeah. Most of the... And that's another thing. It's a capital city. Shouldn't there be money here? Mm-hmm. When you expect a capital city to have a little bit of money? Mm -hmm. Okay, most of the cities to the north. Um, we're not going to follow that route. We're going to follow the route that's heading south. But I'll get to it in a minute. <coughs> this is the capital of a state in the United States of America. And I'll tell you, the towns that we... First of all, Maine, the natural beauty is unbelievable. It's one of the most beautiful states in the country. Hands down, probably top five most beautiful states. Natural beauty goes. As far as natural beauty, it's one of the most beautiful states, undoubtedly. Uh, as far as murder rate, it's one of the safest. It's been named the safest state in the country. Um, roads are in dead end. A little bit further, a little bit further. Is that dead end? <laughs> yeah, that's Yeah. Um, it, it is one of the safest states in the country. Um, by murder rate and all that. It's not a dangerous state. But there's a few things wrong with this state. And I think the biggest thing that's wrong with it is that it's known for not being welcoming to outsiders. And you can tell by weighing 45. So next time you're in Maine, or if you live in Maine, Next time you spend 45 minutes waiting for a meal at a restaurant before you get it, remember the reason why. Because you don't have people from other places that want to work. 
But it's crazy because we were just in small towns in Canada. Look, this is all like run down looking houses over here. Look like the trap house over here. Small towns in Canada and Quebec. Yeah. No English, at least the young people do. Friendly. Good Friendly, service. Good service. Yeah. <coughs> See those houses up there, how beat up they were? They look like something out of a trap house. I just can't believe that this is the capital of a state. This is like an embarrassment. Yeah, I, I really, like, after coming back, also homeless people everywhere. After coming back from Canada, and you barely see homeless people in Canada, coming back from Canada to get off at your first exit off 95, and there's somebody like. You're. Okay. I got you, I got you, I got you. I wanna get, I wanna see this. I wanna see these houses over here. All boarded up and homeless looking houses. This repair there. This looks trashy. Let's <coughs> swing back around over. What are the people? That's the other question. This is a capital of a state in America. Unbelievable. And again, most of rural, rural um, Maine is pretty. It's gorgeous. I'm not sure what's happening here though. <clears throat> Not a soul looks like a ghost town. I saw a car up there. Just a really sad looking town. Imagine that. It's weird, like, they have the same exact problems as Alabama with customer service. I mean, like, if you know, like, service isn't just some nasty word, serving your community. That's like, this is people living in campers and stuff. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Service is like giving to your community. If, if, if you have bad customer service in your town or your region of the state's known for bad customer service, that's a horrendous thing. That's why like people are in the military, they're for their job as service because they're serving. But if you don't care about your community, I mean, you have a job and you treat your customers like garbage and expect them to be okay with that. What does that say about the character of your community, you know? Obviously, there's something wrong because if the population hasn't grown, let me see what I can do here. You're turning right. Well, this brings me to the next side of town. I don't want to be over there. That's a whole nother town. And I took on. But you can't turn that way. Okay, we'll go across and come back around. <coughs> Anyways, customer service. When you go to a city, let me tell you something. When you go to a city and you get customer service, you walk out of one, look at the downtown from over here, look up here, it looks great. Look at that. Not one time. This how do I get over there? I want to get down over there. Is there a bridge over there? Oh. At one time this was a beautiful city. It was. The people that built this city, if they saw this city the way it is today, they would roll around their graves if they saw this. Mm -hmm. They would turn over if their graves. The people that founded this city, if they saw the way this city looks today. If Daniel Pratt saw <coughs> this place. <laughs> Daniel Pratt founded the city? No. He's a founder of Alabama. Like, this would have been founded around the same time. He yeah. might have actually been here. Yeah, isn't he from Vermont or something? Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. if, if, you're, if your population hasn't grown since the 1940s, that means that since the 1940s, even the people that are from here are leaving. If the people that are from here are leaving, what would that say about the people that aren't from here? Go figure, right? Mm -hmm. that, does that go on there? Yeah. yeah. If the people that are from here leave, what would that say of people that aren't from here? You know? Unbelievable. <coughs> it's all out of breath. Oh, it's like boarded up buildings and stuff on their way to downtown. People doing donuts on the middle of the road. Not a soul in sight. After being in Canada where people were out and about and doing exercise and stuff. That's what, look how pretty that, that it looks from here. After being in Canada where people are outside, you know, people are outside and walking and jogging. You come to the United States and people are, yeah, it's crazy. Like, I, I, dude's holding a sign, he's homeless or begging. Either homeless or begging, one of the two. 
imagine that you come back from Canada where people are on, 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 on an evening like this in Canada, people are out and about, jogging, walking, going to restaurants. You come here, and the only thing you see in downtown is a guy holding a sign. Unbelievable. What an embarrassment. The people that founded this city, look at the city they founded originally. What went wrong here? I bet the people that founded this city were all immigrants from Germany. I bet you they're from Germany, from Ireland, Scottish, English. They were all immigrants that founded this city. They risked their lives on a long voyage across an ocean. They made it here and they made something out of their lives. Many generations down, this is what's here. The things that they built hundreds of years ago is what's left. What's left here is what was built 200 years ago. Since 1940, nothing new has been built. Just things have been falling crap. These people need to get their crap together, man. Where we live in Florida, this just opened like two new Mexican restaurants in our neighborhood. They're opening up a bar. It's going to be open till 2 in the morning. Right across the street from where we live in Florida, they're opening a Mexican restaurant. And, uh... <coughs> they're opening a Mexican restaurant. And it's going to be open till 2 in the morning. And that's in the suburbs. That's not even in the city. Can't wait till they open it. But here, it's 8.30 at night, and it's a ghost town. This town is an embarrassment. Dang it. What's this place called? Augusta? Mm -hmm. Dang it, Augusta, you're an embarrassment. Get it together, Grouch. Look, they haven't painted none of this. They don't pressure wash. They don't paint. It's just litter outside of this historic building. At least there's fishing here. Well, at least that guy's got the right idea. Go fishing. <coughs> Look at these historic buildings. They don't. You, is this a road out or no? Yeah, you can get out. Uh, can you? Because like, I saw that you can get out, but down that way? That's doing that injury. Take a left. Okay. They don't pressure wash these buildings. They don't pave the roads. They have metal bars on the windows. So let's do not enter. Mm -hmm. They go back to where we came. Okay. And besides, look at how steep that is. Our car yeah. won't make it over there. Yeah. Let's watch these potholes here. Ah, let's throw my car. <coughs> and the embarrassing thing about here is you can actually go to another country, you know? You're right down the road from another country. You can just drive for four hours, be in another country, and, and see what a town should look like. Dang it, Augusta. Get your crap together. I bet the fishing's good. I love fishing. I can't get to wait to get to Boston or New York City. I can get all these little hick towns. You can believe that. An hour and thirty minutes to eat at freaking Applebee's, and then they give you they give you the wrong food. They treat you like crap. They drop freaking chemicals on the food because they don't know how to freaking cook right. They're probably high out of their mind. You know the overdose rate in, in Maine is actually higher than in Florida. Hmm. Yeah, they're probably just all high out of their minds. Their their overdose rates are ridiculous here. Hmm. And if they weren't high, they could figure out how to pressure wash. Look at this guy. He's got a boat, and there's people fishing here with fishing lines. He's going to run their boat right through the fishing lines. Now, if you got a boat, look at him. Look at him. What a jerk. Look at him. He's going to run the boat right in front of the people that are fishing. I can't see it from this angle. Hmm. What an idiot. What an idiot. Get out of here. Get me to our hotel. I want to get out of this town before we get bed bugs. This town is a dump. I'm gonna take a right no, up ahead. Why does it look like my headlights are off when they're not? I don't know. <coughs> Sounds giving me pneumonia. Look at how dark it is. It's like gloomy looking dark. It looks like it's about to snow and it's a spring. It's a springtime. And it's about as gloomy as a winter day. 
And I bet this ain't the worst neighborhood. I'm gonna let GPS. I'm just gonna go that one or this way. Okay. My hood sense is tingling. I suspect there's gonna be some really crappy neighborhoods here. I don't wanna see the whole thing. I bet you there's like some more rundown, beat up neighborhood. Cause they're gonna be like, you didn't see the whole town. Let's let's see the whole town. Cause the first comment they're gonna say is, you didn't see, you didn't even see the whole town. Like we'll see more of it before we leave. We'll see more of it. It's like it's most like a Burger King. At least the smell of the Burger King masks up the smell of all the other things that are wrong with this town. This town is illiterate. You know, after it's just a nice day in rural Maine to have to come here and see this dump of a town and wait an hour and a half to eat some nasty Applebee's with chemical food taste on it. Then they bring you the wrong crap and expect you to eat it because they're too lazy to make it right. This is depressing. Here's 104. Makes you want to get on 104 back to Canada. We are on some decent folks. That's the route we're taking right there. Oh, okay, I'll pull back on. There's a corner store. Let's pull up in here real quick. And I, I gave her a tip. I gave her a $7 tip. And I felt like giving her zero. I really did. But I was like, you know what? That's probably what they want you to do. Not tip them. Mm -hmm. So then they can say that you're the problem, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's see where we're at real quick. I bet you that neighborhood up that hill has got to be a dump. It's just a dead end. Let's get out of here. I don't want to see this town. I've had enough. <coughs> It'd be a miracle if I don't throw up the nasty food we ate. Let's get out of here. That's why I'm not talking too much. Yeah, yeah, it's nasty. You can taste that they dropped, they, they spilled chemicals on the potatoes. <laughs> the town is just a dump. People looking like they're homeless and vagrant looking people everywhere. This way? Turn up the volume. Make sure you take me to the back road so we don't have to get out of the nearest thing. Yeah, you're, you're good. Oh, look at them right walking around. Street, look at how bad their hygiene is. Pants sagging, clothes full of dirt, lime. Look at the socks, they're like yellow instead of white. Wow, man. This is like West Virginia type crap, you know, like everybody's high out of their mind. All right, you let me tell me where to go. At the right. Look how much left. litter. At the light, turn left. <coughs> huh? I can't hear you. Turn left. Turn left on the bridge. Oh, okay. Turn, turn right. The Western. Then there's like kids just hanging out. Nobody has their, see how none of them have their headlights on? It's because they're high. They're too high to figure out to turn their headlights on. That's like one, if you ever go to a place and notice people have their headlights off, that's because they're so high they can't figure out that their headlights aren't on. They're just that high out of their minds. They're just numbed out. Bless their hearts, they don't know anybody. Turn left. Doing donuts in the middle of the road. Crime was out of control. <coughs> I don't like this place at all. It's so different. You come up to those small little towns coming down through Exit like the traffic you know, the moose towns or these moose crossing towns that are so Continue pretty. For 15 miles. And after the experience at the restaurant, I won't be returning. This is Alabama. Mm -hmm. This is exactly the same thing we experienced in Alabama. Forest customer service. Look at the guy with the sign begging and stuff. Mm -hmm. Bunch of bums. <coughs> you go to an Applebee's 30 minute way. Look at this guy right there begging. Hold on, we gotta get this on video. Hold on. I know, I know. I, got I want them to see, because then they're gonna say it's a lie. If you don't really get it on video, then they're gonna say you're lying. How do, what's the population this time? 19,000 people? What is it? 19,000 people, right? Can you imagine that? A town of 19,000 people, Road. right? Roughly. See this guy, he's got his headlights off too. It's because they're all high. They're too high to figure out to turn their headlights on. 
They're all too high to figure out this where the hell they come. In 300 feet, There's a good begging right here, man. Do it begging right here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, I gotta record it because if you don't record it, they don't believe it. They all have their headlights on. Oh. Head southwest on Hannaford Road towards Stone Street, then turn left onto Stone Street. It looks like people just vagrantly turn everywhere. Left onto Stone Street. This is a gang. Continue for 15 miles. Turn left onto Cross Street. Oh, turn right <coughs> onto Nineteen thousand people, and there's people begging on every every business, every corner. People begging. That's right here. Yeah. Head south on Middle Street toward East Chestnut Street. Then turn left onto East Chestnut Street. Turn left onto East Chestnut Street. You then turn right onto Stone Street. Right onto Stone Street. Mm -hmm. The road department in this town. Look at this. You can't even drive right this one. My god, they don't mow their lawns. I mean, in a place that gets this much snow, people should just be excited. Look, what, what the crap is wrong with these roads? This is going to destroy my vehicle. Can I sue them? Or destroy my vehicle? No. I have to. Look at these roads. Oh my gosh. This is like the Alabama of the north. <coughs> that is a dump. I mean, I've heard horrible things about this town, but I didn't realize it was this bad. Continue for 15 miles. And it's weird because you don't think about there being hoods in Maine. You think about Maine, you don't think about hoods, but this is like a hood, though. A hood, though. This town is dirtier than my windshield. And my windshield is filthy. Get me out of here. It's so sad and depressing. And all the youth is out and about for some random reason. What are they doing? The youth goes out at night. What type of parenting? Where are the parents in this freaking town? Calm now. Where are the parents? The youth just goes out at night. All the kids are going out at night in little groups, man. What do you think your, those kids are doing? They're snorting. Crap, you idiot. What's that? Where are the parents? This town, kids don't go out at night. Kids go out at night. What do you think they're gonna? Nothing good happens at night. Where are the parents? Is my question. I know where they're at. They're probably out of their minds too. This would never happen in. Al this is worse than Alabama. I I'm pretty sure it's worse than Alabama, Katie. At least they have a Dollar Tree, though. That I'll give them that. <coughs> What's up with the police light? That's a police station. A police station? Uh, can I make a complaint to the police? Somebody in this town send this video to the police department. I want to know where are the parents. What? I don't live here. It's not my problem. <laughs> so that's your, you're the one that lives here. I don't have to live here. I live in a nice, safe, suburban neighborhood. I don't have to worry about Y'all the one that live out here. Y'all the ones that should worry about that. 8.30 at night, kids are just now going out for a walk with, a, with their buddies wearing ski masks and hoodies. Shake my head, man. This is an embarrassment. Y'all need to go to Canada, four hour drive north of here, and see how to make a town. Go to Canada and take notes on how to make a town. Because I can't tell you what's wrong with this town. They can't complain about not having jobs because we were just at that stupid Applebee's for 45 minutes. Yeah. Just to get a freaking table. So they can't say that they can't get a job. I'm not going to sit here and tell me you can't get a job. You can get a dang job out here. There's plenty of jobs. But they'd rather go out, out at night with their homies and do hood rat stuff in the hood, dog. This town is an embarrassment. I want to talk to the mayor of this town. I want this, the mayor of the town to see this video and realize... That his town sucks and he should move to Florida where it's better. For a little bit. It's not going in the right direction right now. But at least for now, it's somewhat stable. I mean, it's not perfect. It's, there's a few issues here and there. But it's not this bad, I can tell you that. 
get out of this time before I throw up somewhere.